So Jeff, just tell us about like signs of poor aeration in the soil. Well, when you're doing an assessment as to what you're doing, um, one of the first things I always look at is, is aeration. So if there's no air going down through the surface, it uh, tells you they've got no spore, spore holes. And it's a real simple mechanism. And once again, the old trusty knife comes into play. And if we just have a quick look at what we've got in here and realising there's a lot of stone in here, but we find that we've got this extremely hard little cap layer because this is a loam and it's that surface area there that gets quite quite hard and underneath there's air underneath so if we can't get any air in there the microbes the soil and the plant are going to diffuse the air out from underneath so that's why it's important to have air go through the surface look for little holes look for little cracks there is none in this um, but the benefit you have in these types of soils is the stone. So because of the stone, and if I show you, if we just shift stone underneath, you can see the surface immediately under that stone is actually quite moist. Um, but it is still quite hard, and as you can just by pushing a knife in there before I hit a stone, it actually plates up. That's low soil aggregation, and when there's low soil aggregation, that's an indication of low air. But it's also a big indication of soil type. I then, then look at a plant, and if the plant's struggling, and I notice that the moisture's not creating a teardrop or it all runs to one side, then the, the water isn't actually going in, it's actually running, the holes aren't big enough to let the water go in. <laughs> and when you have fine soils, you have water taking all the fines down that comes along the surface. And if we go purely from there to here, because of compost and bits and pieces that you've applied in here, I would suspect that there'd be more aeration in there. So what's some good signs of aeration, Jeff? Well, as you can see on, on that side um, and this side which has had compost work done and this has been on a year and because of that the surface first and foremost hasn't sealed and if the surface hasn't sealed the air gets in, if the air gets in, the water gets in and nothing lives without air and moisture so we've got those two key components for life. We've got a live root mass down there. Just to show you a quick example that soil there and this soil are the same, except we've had compost added over it. We can see along the surface here, the water is actually running along pretty much everywhere. And even when I dig down under here, I'm finding moisture. You can see the moisture is now here, is running from here. And we're right into there. Now I do know, if I lift this up, there'll be moisture down there. So we've got moisture running from dripper to dripper. These are 600 drippers. We've now got 600 mils of moisture carrying over. If we go over here, and remember it's same soil without the compost, and that's the ability to hold moisture and air. If we go over here, and we've got our 600, so we've got a dripper here and we've got a dripper there. If I start lifting under here, we'll get to a stage right there where it's dead dry, yep. that high up. Now, if I go there, what we're finding is there's not a lot of moisture and there's no holding capacity. If I dig this out like that, see it all reverts back to what it is there, so we've got dust. Whereas over here, between the two drippers, and I dig down, Trust me to pick a bit with a big stone, but grab the surface there. Much nicer soil. So we now have soil with aggregation. It is quite cool, it's holding moisture, and it's got a lot of air in it. And that smells like soil. That has no smell with it. Healthy soils. And it does clam up when you're doing it, so it do that and it actually sticks together. All right, so that's that's shouldn't take much to just touch that and it just disintegrates again. So from that part, because of the air and the compost, we now have the ability to make it more susceptible for that plant to sustain its growth. So in other words, 
bigger leaf versus smaller leaf. This was a struggling plant, we know that, because it's got compost on it. That's struggling on that side too. We know that because they either run out or they haven't allowed that uh, gone through and this is what they're looking at. But from there, they've got a better consistent run.